a little bit more frequently to keep the pressure up on the Varus in the lane. So. Yeah, it's a nice pickup. Woo! <laughs> Crazy goes for the goes for the taunt, the shadowy dash. Not so, really shadowy at all, though, is it? I know you were thinking the same. Thing. I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah. more like uh, obvious dash. <laughs> Just call it Dash. That's all he does. A flashy Dash. <laughs> the Flash and Dash. We see that a lot. The Flashy Dash. Good. Shout out to Flashy Dash. Yeah, but then you'd have to talk about he Flash Flashy Dash. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. That's I don't, don't want to say better, that man. Still, uh, <laughs> Flash Flashy Dash. <laughs> nice cosmic binding from Core JJ again. Or Corge, as he's known among the barbarian tribes of the Highlands. Corge. Corge, I think barbarian. I think Dash is pretty flashy with his hair. Yeah? Yeah, his purple hair. There in NA. That's true. Saying he could flashy flash. He, he If he played Shen, it would be flashy <laughs> dash, flash, flashy dashing. <laughs> <laughs> How has this not happened yet? Wow. Very impressive, the dash, flash, flashy dash. <laughs> Oh, we have fun on LCK, we don't do. we? We <laughs> do. We have so much fun. <laughs> as if, uh, as if he wasn't a bad enough ninja. This skin includes a giant flag. <laughs> For Shen. I think he's supposed to be a samurai in this one. I guess so. Which is really a misnomer if he's supposed to be a ninja. The samurai and the ninja, not not really get great friends there. Yeah, no kidding. In fact, they're they're kind of polar opposites of each other. Maybe he's like that's a like that's like making a ninja skin for Gangplank. What the hell is that? Right, or like making a pirate into a cowboy or something. Yeah, just just yeah. because both samurais and ninja come from Japan, Ryan, doesn't mean they're the same thing. I know that might confuse you. Awkward. Yeah. Well, maybe he's like a double agent ninja. You know. <laughs> like he's, just, uh, uh, he's okay. a ninja posing as a samurai just to get closer to other ninjas. Or other samurais, rather. So you he know. can assassinate them? Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's like, don't worry, I'm a samurai too. <laughs> and then he gets, and he stabs him. <laughs> that would be... With his giant light sword. <laughs> he just comes through the wall. He's like, hey, fellow samurai, how you doing? Isn't isn't life great? And he's like, whoa, what's that over there? And the samurai turns and looks, and then his giant sword <laughs> comes to the other wall and skewers him. <laughs> Must be really hard for Shen to go through airports with that giant glowing sword. Following well, him around everywhere. Or does he just wait until he's on the plane and then he calls it to him? And just, like, would you like a drink, sir? And then, like, a sword just sticks up through the floor. And everyone's kind of freaked out. Yikes. Don't go on a plane with Shen. No. No. You never know when that sword's going to make an appearance. Yeah. Comes up from the, uh, maybe put in one of his checked bags and just comes up out of the floor that way, too. Oh man. I thought it was I thought it was uh calling for another cup of coffee. Just a ghost sword instead. Yeah. I hate it when that happens. Here's another question. How do when Shen has his ghost sword, how does it how does a ghost sword create a dodge field? Oh yeah, that's that's a good point. Maybe it just extends its ghostly <laughs> protoplasm aura to make you also insubstantial. You know? Well, Shen has been insubstantial for quite a while. Like, why'd they have to change it from dragon to dragon? Couldn't it have been Cloud Dragon, Infernal Dragon, Elder Dragon? Uh, they had to make the Europeans happy somehow, who have been calling it Drake for years, even though that's not its actual name. They already gave them ties. What more do they want? <laughs> Yeah, they thought. I thought that would placate the Europeans for sure. Greedy Europeans. They want ties. They want the dragon to be called a Drake. They want to keep England all to themselves. <laughs> Jeez, come on, give a little. <laughs> well, bless. Getting found out. Just taking a drink. A little bit of damage to ambition. This is drunken rage. He doesn't look very angry. Gragas no. never looks angry. Why is it called Drunken Rage? He doesn't even sound angry when you play him. He just hits people after he drinks. <laughs> oh. oh, look out. It really looks like that sword's going to hit him. I mean, it kind of does. It's kind of a lazy sword. It's, pretty, it's a pretty bad magic sword when you think about it. I mean, because... <laughs> 
you know, every other magic sword I've seen, like, look at Aurelia's magic sword. It floats around her and, like, hits whatever she wants it in. Shen's just sits there and once in a while <laughs> comes over and says hi. Like, in terms of magic swords... It doesn't swords, even stab you. It sort of just smacks you sideways. I know. Yeah. <laughs> the point is always facing down. <laughs> <laughs> just gives you a little pat on the butt and says, good job, Shen. As far as magic swords goes, Shen's pretty bad. The hilt just hits you in the head. That's right. <laughs> It's like the magical sword equivalent of stepping on a rake. <laughs> the handle comes up and smacks you in the face. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. I didn't, I didn't think Shen could become a worse ninja, but he, he found a way. <laughs> he did find a way. Shen finds a way. The fluorescent six-foot sword standing next to him at all times. That's right. Oh, Shen, you master of subtlety. <laughs> well, to be fair, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Got that. My question to Riot is when you redesign Shen, why didn't you just make him not a Shen? Ninja? <laughs> like just not make make him not a ninja anymore. Like, yeah, that's there's true. nothing to say that you had to make him a ninja again. Well, I mean Tarek changed completely, right? Yeah. Where he suddenly That's a great point. Yeah, he changed into pretty much a different character as far as like what he did and all that. His power was you know his power was oops. Uh, oh bless. bless. Goodness gracious. You don't need that blue buff. The, the safer way to do it is to put Shen cross map because he has Stand United and then four men so that you are actually farming all three lanes. Yeah, they're not at, at really the maximizing time. the pressure. All they, they had to do, on. yeah, all they had to do was send Loken, Key, and Bless into the top side and they would have been able to farm more minions and still had pretty much the same level of threat thanks to crazy Stand United. But, so, whatever, they get the turret anyway. If it works, it works. It, it could have worked better, it Della. It <laughs> kind of works. It wasn't maximum Monte Cristo efficiency. Uh, yes, Mon maximum Monte Cristo efficiency is what I like to see, though. Well, of course, you're Monte Cristo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, that will kill any sense of excitement that we're going to have until the next Drake spawns. Yep. Dragon. Draken. Just call it Draken. Draken. Call it a day. Sounds like the name of some sort of like anger metal band from the early 2000s. <laughs> Draken? Draken. Yep. Probably was. Vision wants that red buff, can't get it. You know, instead of Hansen, no, I couldn't because I, I like Silverchair. And they didn't sing about being angry in high school. I don't know what Silverchair is. You don't know Silverchair? No. Really? <laughs> Whoa. Bless. They will grab that blue buff. You gotta listen to Silver Chair, dude. It's so good. <laughs> Papa Smithy is face palming so hard right now because they're from Australia. Oh, that's probably why I haven't heard of him. Oh. Does he like Silver Chair? I mean, everybody <gasps> likes Silver Chair. <laughs> they're great. I'll, I'll take your word for it. They're kind of like the cooler version of Hanson. <laughs> You're not selling them well, Doha. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they're like, it's like three young, super long, blonde haired dudes. We're in a band. With a terrible name. Well, I don't know. This is a Do you have something against silver chairs? Do you have something for silver chairs that makes them cool? No, no, their music is cool, <laughs> not their band name. <laughs> I don't know. Another Ocean Drake goes over to ESC Ever, so they'll be regenerating the heck out of themselves out of combat. Good for them. Well. Important against some of the poke that's likely to come in from Varus. It's no Cloud Drake, though. If you had the Cloud Drake, you could just dodge it. <laughs> you wouldn't even take damage. <laughs> Doesn't work in combat, sadly. Well, I mean, that's the thing is if you dodge it, you won't get hit. It oh, won't be in combat. So, ah, uh, nice. Yeah. See? <laughs> you got to think on that next level, man. Just uh, don't fight. Just dodge, right. dodge piercing arrows until Varus runs out of mana. Brilliant. This, this sounds like what you like in League of Legends. <laughs> Just run around in circles while Varus just runs out of mana. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, if you run in a really tight circle around Varus, it's hard to, like, spin and, like, <laughs> hit people. Just dodge Chain of Corruption that way. Yeah. Seems to uh, be a good idea. I'm always having the stun from Equilibrium Strike, I suppose. You'll, you'll be able to cancel the TP and stuff. Kube on the run now. Chains of Corruption misses. Well, this is just a oh game boy. of missed skill shots, Noah. Neither yes, team is. 
looking brilliant mechanically tonight. I mean, uh, you think they both had three cloud drakes with how well they've been dodging all the skill shots <laughs> in this game. <laughs> and not fighting. Or maybe, you know, maybe they just need more cloud drakes to hit those skill shots. You know, just get that much closer from the best buff in the game, <laughs> the cloud drake buff. You love you, you love you some cloud drake, don't you? I do. It's the greatest buff in the game. Oh, Swain. I don't know what skin this is. He's got he's got a parrot though. Is there like pirate Swain? Apparently. Kind of seems like a piratey type. Peg leg. Yeah. Is that the only requirement of being a pirate? <laughs> I think it's it's definitely a strong indicator. That's right. Play by temps. So does Swain? I didn't I didn't catch it right there. Does he turn into a giant parrot? The skin. Does he? I like. That. <laughs> Oh yeah, kind of. Swain kinda, wants a of. cracker. Yeah. <laughs> Swain wants your soul. <laughs> it's kind of scary, the idea of a giant parrot. I bet they'd be mean. Parrots are mean sometimes. They are. They get bitey. Not pirate parrots. Really? You think pirate parrots are the nice ones? Yeah, yeah. They're just, just better trained, you know. <laughs> uh, better trained to. Uh, attack the eyes of their enemy in a boarding action. Right, exactly. <laughs> but they don't go after their owner, you know? It would be really annoying to have a parrot in your face. If you were a, a pirate, what pet would you have? Because you can go with the parrot, you can also go with the monkey as well. What what animal would you go with? So those are my choices. Well, no, I mean, you can really pick anything, I suppose. But <laughs> I think monkey and parrot are the most popular. <laughs> the most popular among you pirates. Can, I mean, you could go with a giraffe, I guess, but... <laughs> Kind of hard to fit that on a pirate ship. You see, it's like attached one of the sails to its neck or something. I go with an armadillo, so I can go armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I go with the sloth. Just kind of hang out like a backpack, sort of. Yeah, that's actually they could be on the rigging. Yeah, you can like swing around, but not too, not too fast. He's like a, a steadying. He provides like a steadying, chilled out vibe to the pirate ship. You know, things get a bit of heated on a pirate ship from time to time. What with the mutinies and all. So it's nice to have a sloth around to kind of cool everybody down. <laughs> I mean, nobody can get angry when there's like an adorable sloth just like chilling out. In the crow's nest. Yeah, or wherever he wants to be, man. He's not going to cause any trouble. Yeah, it seems like a sailing ship would be a pretty great place for a sloth. Yeah. I agree. Lots of vertical space. So I'd go with that. You know, people talk about what their spirit animal is, but they really should be talking about what's your pirate animal. <laughs> That's way more interesting. <laughs> sloth is my pirate animal. <laughs> Tidal Wave comes through, followed by that bubble, and Wraith again making the play to set up yet another kill for Samsung. Yeah, Crown's not done yet. He is He's looking for one. On the hunt, but no, he will just distort back into the mid lane, not finding attempt in a poor location. You can't say on the hunt when there's a Sivir in the game unless you're talking about on the hunt. Okay. Sorry. I guess I'm banned then. Yep. <laughs> banned. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> for different reasons, though. <laughs> there you go. You said it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> Ambition, where is your team now? It doesn't matter. You can body slam over the wall. That doesn't make sense, but it works. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense at all. There's no <laughs> slamming involved. No. It's more like the Kool-Aid Man body slam, I suppose, where he can oh, go yeah. through walls. He just oh yeahs his way. It's true. Through it's the terrain. Be, why is there not a Kool-Aid Man grind? I don't know. Yet? He could drink himself. Yeah, I know. With his W. <laughs> I think Kool-Aid Man ever does that. It's like sip. reaches up and like uh, dips a <laughs> d dips a cup in his in his Kool-Aid and drinks it. <laughs> you kind of like drinking your own blood. Is that weird? I guess. Do vampires do that? I don't know. I mean, if a vampire <laughs> was starving, could he drink his own blood to save his thirst for blood? Maybe. 
I haven't watched enough of those Twilight movies. No, <laughs> the you know they're the authority on vampires. So vampires didn't really exist before Twilight. I, I think. Yeah, she invented those. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and uh, man wolves. That's what they're called. I think. <laughs> yeah. She invented the man wolf. Not to be confused with the man wolf. Support player of SKT. <laughs> Need a combo there. He kind of wasted on uh, Azir though, because he never actually does any fighting himself. No, he sort of just flies into the fight. Yeah. He does. He does well, his own fighting. He has auto attack. He has a ranged auto attack that he like zaps people with his I zap. Suppose. But he never actually physically touches anyone. Well, why would he? He's an emperor. Yeah, he doesn't need to touch any of those filthy peasants. Exactly. He has other birds to do that for him. <laughs> Be honest, Doa. If, if you had the option not to touch filthy peasants, wouldn't you take that option? Well, I was having a conversation with the High Sparrow. <laughs> and he was like, you really got to be nice to the filthy peasants. And I'm like, well, you're going to throw me in a dungeon if I don't, so okay. <laughs> sure. Sounds good. I would have just gotten in the dungeon. <laughs> I know. I know you would. Yeah. Don't worry. I would have come and rescued you. <laughs> Before my walk of shame. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. I try to help it. <laughs> I'm there for you. <laughs> Although I, I admit it might be kind of fun to be the person who just says shame over and over again. Whatever. I don't. I don't actually find it that shameful. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, go for it then. <laughs> that could end up on the internet, though. I warn you. Bad <laughs> chance. Looks like the Mountain Drake finally going over to Samsung. But uh, they have really faced pretty much no opposition in this game from the SC ever, so uh, it's surprising. It's a pretty big gold lead. A little over 4K now in 18 minutes for Samsung. Yeah, a very different game, and, and there's one major <laughs> factor here <laughs> that may have contributed to it, and that factor's name is Wraith. Samsung, there, of course there are many factors and their composition game number one, the lack of getting Aurelia rolling, ambitions, sort of suspect jungle pathing, these all have contributed to the loss, but definitely you can see that playing around ambition is easier when Wraith is present in the game. I mean, they really do look like a different team. Yes, they do. Again. And it's, it's been, that has been the story of every single core JJ game so yeah. far. Wraith 2016. Support you can believe in. Making Samsung great again. He'll support you. <laughs> yeah. Make Samsung great again. That's right. The, the, the Wraith slogan. That's right. For now, though, a bit of a, a, bit of a lull in the action. As ESC tries to figure out a way to grab that mid lane tier one. Lull is Twitch chat's new favorite word. Oh, is it? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Ask I, I ask Twitch chat. They're just lulling all over the place these days. I'll have to. It's I'll not lull it anymore. Break. It's lull. Lull. L U L. <laughs> Next is gonna be lel. L E L. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> and then, uh, lil. Only it'd be L Y L just to be <laughs> ironic. <laughs> Probably L A W L. We just made that meme so uncool, nobody's ever gonna use yes, it again. Yes, we did it, though. We ruined a meme. Mission accomplished. <laughs> meme records. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I love being a meme wrecker. <laughs> we gave it an extreme meme makeover. <laughs> no. Lol. 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 <laughs> Well, oh. Samsung, oh, Ooh. nice. Nice little takeaway there. Got the Krug. Cube, just scooting in. Forgot his sword, though. Hey, so, oh, there he is. <laughs> well, it's starting it off. 
See if they can take it. Looks like they probably can. Yeah, just giving that one away. And that's a, that's a big one to give away if you're ESC ever. Well, they can't do anything. Again, uh, they were worried about QV who stepped into the river. Swain did discover him with a pink ward and forced QV to back off a little bit further. But they were prepping for a stand united. And Crazy wasn't going to be in position to actually get the never move down. Yeah. Which is really a big misnomer because you can move like a second and a half later. It's yeah. not really a never move at all. It's like it's like move for a little while and then stop for a moment. <laughs> Slightly impede just didn't sound like as good of a good of a skill name, you know? Especially when you have a Raven based hero. Yeah. Just gotta force that. You sure do. Just forces to you just jam gotta, that Edgar Allan Poe in there. You just got to rat a tap that right in there, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, you do. Just, just, just jam it right in. Yep. Get it? Because he's a bird. <laughs> he's a raven. He Bird's a raven. raven. So, no, never do it, I guess. It's true. Sometimes he's an orange raven. Kind of a... <laughs> I feel like they got a little bit lazy with that one. They should have made it a pirate. It really is ugly. Or, uh, they should have made it a, uh, you know, a parrot head. Yeah. Yep. Maybe uh, pirates have orange ravens in Runeterra. Maybe. Who knows? It's magical land. <laughs> your only limitations are your own imagination. <laughs> And Riot's design team. <laughs> <laughs> but they have imaginations themselves. Yeah, they imagine the... the uh, do whatever they want. They, they imagine the Orange Raven. It's pretty creative. They imagine a world where ninjas are not subtle at all. <laughs> that's a bold, uh, that's a bold uh, thematic decision to make. They made it. More power to them. Uh, Kenan just you know, creating giant flashing fields of electricity everywhere. Like rodents tend to do. I mean, haven't you watched Pokemon? It's kind of sad that Zed is probably the only good ninja. I suppose Akali's okay. He, well, Zed's a great ninja. He's just not a good person. But that kind of goes for a lot of ninjas, I would think. <laughs> I don't think there are many uh, good people that end up as shadowy assassins. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't met a lot. Something tells me that if, if you are a, a good person, that's probably not your first calling You're like uh, as a career. That's right. You help like a, a cute old lady with her groceries, and then you're like, well, I got to go kill someone because somebody <laughs> paid me to do it. I'll see you later. Or your daimyo told you to do it. Who knows? That's true. That's also an option. No. Eventually. Go, Shen, go. <laughs> you can do it. He looks so sad, slashing away at that stone turret. Death, <laughs> death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> yep. It's just one of those, like, martial arts exercises that looks like you're doing a lot of, like, a mundane thing a ton of times, but it turns you into, like, a super warrior, you know? Uh, I'm pretty like, sure uh, that's what happens in Korean team houses for League of Legends. You must cut down this... Redwood tree with a toothpick. Wood must overcome wood. But a really tiny piece of wood must overcome a bigger one. <laughs> Teaches you a lot about life. There you go, yeah. Enough time. No, you probably still can't do that. It's Oktoberfest for ambition. It's Oktoberfest every day for ambition. <laughs> <laughs> when he plays Gragas, the League of Legends, obviously. I'm so jealous you got to go to Oktoberfest last year and oh, I didn't do it. It was great, man. I've never been to Oktoberfest in Germany. I wanted to go very badly. The week before uh, Worlds, yeah, I was prepping in Germany at the EU office. Yeah, went out to Oktoberfest one of the nights. It was awesome. It was really fun. I connected to 50% of my heritage that night. <laughs> <laughs> so half of Doha was quite pleased? That's right. How did the other half feel? The other half was like, you should really try Ludafis sometime. And I was like, no, no, <laughs> shut up, other half. Tonight, it's about beer and sausage. I, I don't like to listen to the Ludafis side. <laughs> the Ludafis side is no good, huh? I've smelled that. It's not good. It is nasty. Yeah. I went to a college with a strong Scandinavian heritage, and they had a Ludafisk dinner every year. <laughs> you just stayed out of that building on that day. Yep. Great. Uh oh. Nice.
Nice, lands the Aqua Prison, Crown goes in. Not really finding a big opportunity there, but they don't need to overdo it. In fact, they need to not overdo it. They need to keep pushing methodically. <laughs> I'm good at this analysis here. I should switch roles. <laughs> they need to not do the bad things to win the game. Yep, that's it. Got Nailed it. it. Yep, we're done. We're done here. You can go home. Uh, we are, I think we are done here, though. I think we're done with this game, yeah.